If you're looking to start up and grow a YouTube channel, I've got some tips that I'll be sharing with you today that can help you grow quickly and consistently over time. Here are five tips that I use to grow my own YouTube channel to over 50,000 subscribers. Before we get into tip number one, I wanna thank the sponsor for today's video, Skillshare. They offer an online learning platform with thousands of videos covering all sorts of topics from marketing to design, accounting, video editing, and much more. If you're looking to get started on YouTube, you'll wanna check out some of the amazing classes that they offer on that topic, including how to make thumbnails, SEO strategies, and much more. A subscription is less than $10 a month to access their entire library of content. If you're interested in learning with Skillshare, I've got the hookup for you today. Sign up using the link in the description for this video and you'll get two months of Skillshare Premium for free. Head on over after this video and let me know in the comment section for this video which one of the lessons you found helpful so that I can go watch it afterwards. Now let's get right into tip number one, which is to join your local Toastmasters chapter. You've probably never heard of Toastmasters before, but they're a big part of my success here on YouTube and they have been throughout my career. They're an international public speaking and communication organization that can help you get better and more comfortable with your presentation skills. I joined back in 2011 and became a certified competent communicator, whatever that means, and have continued to attend meetings to hone my skills and abilities as a YouTuber. The meetings give you an opportunity to not only get over your fear of public speaking, but to get feedback from other members on the things that you did well and the things you need to improve on with your speaking style. Over time, you'll become aware of how many times you say things like, like, so, um, you know, all of those crutch words that make you sound less informed. I can't talk enough about how valuable Toastmasters has been for my career overall, and I highly recommend checking out their website and finding a local chapter that meets up in your area. Maybe you might see me there. Tip number two is to research your topics. If you've been paying attention to the content that I've released over the last year, you've probably seen a shift in the content that I've been releasing here on my channel. When I started, I would just shoot footage during my photo shoots and then upload that content to my channel. It would get views, but because I didn't research and present specific topics, the growth on my channel was very slow and limited. What made all the difference was to come up with some different topics and then search for those topics on YouTube to see if other videos already existed and to see how many views those videos had. I remember I filmed a few videos on a topic that I wanted to talk about, but after doing a search on YouTube, I realized that other videos existed and none of them had over a thousand views. Mine was likely to suffer the same fate, so I instead opted to go with a different topic. Growing on YouTube early on is more about providing viewers with the kind of videos that they want to see, and far less about the types of videos you actually want to create. It might sound harsh, but it's just the way that YouTube works. Tip number three is to script your videos whenever possible. Once you've selected your topic, it's a good idea to write a script so you can ensure that you cover everything that you wanna cover and hopefully present it in a more concise way. Here on my channel, I script the majority of my videos and I use a simple teleprompter and an app on my phone to help me stay on track. I've used a few different systems over the years and the one that I'm using now is awesome. I'll link it in the description of this video, but what's great about it is that it comes with a variety of rings that mount directly onto whatever lens you already own. The entire thing is portable so you could take it with you anywhere and trust me, once you start using it, you'll see how much easier and more efficiently you can create videos for your channel. Tip number four is to create compelling thumbnails. I look at thumbnails almost like movie trailers. A good trailer, it gives you a good idea of what the movie's about, but it also intrigues you and it hopefully nudges you to actually go see the movie in theaters. A good thumbnail does the same thing. It gives viewers an idea of what the video's about, 
but a great one will encourage anyone who views it to click on it to watch your content. If you're not good at creating thumbnails, I'd recommend watching a few design videos on Skillshare's website, or maybe downloading a starter kit with templates to help you get started. I've seen a great template set by a fellow YouTuber named Roberto Blake that I'd recommend checking out if you wanna have high quality thumbnails. Tip number five is to release content on your channel regularly. What exactly do I mean by that? Well, in my experience, I've seen the most success here on my channel releasing videos once a week. I've had times where I've done two or three videos in a week, but I don't think it's sustainable over a long period of time. What's more important is to release videos, preferably on a certain day of the week, every single week, and to do that consistently over a period of time. Once you start doing that, you'll want to keep an eye out on your YouTube analytics to find out what days and what times people are responding the most to your videos. And then you wanna consider releasing your newer videos at that time to maximize the amount of views. A couple of things to keep in mind, I know you might have the urge early on to wanna to spend a ton of money on cameras and lighting and microphones and lenses to get started, but don't let those things keep you from producing content consistently. You could shoot and edit videos from your phone and build up a massive following here on YouTube. Then hopefully you'll be able to afford to get all of the gear that you want and you need to help you grow even further. Also, if you're feeling overwhelmed, it's totally okay. It's bound to happen at some point. In the beginning, don't overthink it too much. Just come up with a handful of topics, do some quick research, and start shooting. You'll see that over time, you'll become more confident and more comfortable in front of the camera. And if all goes well, your views and your subscriber counts will grow exponentially. So I'm interested in hearing what your hurdles are for starting and growing your own YouTube channel. Let me know what challenges you're currently facing in the comment section below, and I'll see if I can make some videos to help you out with that. Also, while you're here, don't forget to subscribe. It's helping me out, right? <laughs> so please subscribe. I plan on releasing new videos every single week. And thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.